Hello and welcome back. It's Red Knight here and I'm going to be making a remake of one of my older videos here. This is all about the Heyday Bees. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I finally finished collecting all of the bees and the beehives. So I'm quite happy. So let's show you everything and I hope you like the new version. So some good news. You can now buy bees and start producing sweet honey. Let's get to it. Now first thing you need to do is to buy a beehive tree. Ooh, a beehive tree. That sounds interesting. I wonder what it looks like. So my button is flashing down there in the left hand corner. I'm going to clear this area and add my beehive tree and it will cost me 4,000 gold coins. Oh my goodness, that's so cheap. And I can get one. And doesn't it look beautiful? But I wonder how long it takes to actually prepare. Oh, it's immediate. Excellent. But it's closed up. There are no bees. So I guess I'd better get some honeybees. Now, for each hive, you can have three honeybees. And the first time you buy them, they are 1,500 gold coins each. Now, if you push them too far over to the left or the right or to the top, they will be red and they will not go to the hive. You need to place them around or in the area of the hive for them to actually go there. And as I said, each hive can take three. Now, you can have up to four hives on this tree, but you won't get them straight away. You're going to have to work at it, and it takes a long time. Now, notice that I'm level 78 here, and I finally got my fourth hive at level 91. So that took me a long time to do, but it was sure worth it in the end. Now, I've enjoyed using my bees. I've enjoyed collecting the products and making things with what they do and I'm going to be telling you all about that in this video today. Now what you're looking at there is a nectar bush and basically the bees need nectar bushes so they can collect nectar. Then once they collected that nectar which they will bury their head into the flowers and grab as much nectar as they can they will then drag it back to the beehives and then when they get it to the beehives they will make the honeycombs for you and I just so love the honeycombs they look so beautiful. Now each bush will give you 250 nectars that's the first time round. Then the bush will die and it will ask you to revive it. Then you can revive it and you can get another 250. So in total each bush will give you 500 nectars. And those bees will keep going back and back and back until the bush is completely used up. So you've got two rounds for each of those bushes. Now, personally, I think you should buy lots of bushes and then it will be much easier for you as you progress through the game. But the choice is yours. And as I go through this video, I will give you some other tips and suggestions. Now, I do so love these bees. They are cute to watch. And as I have been told, they are very realistic looking. Now, can you have more than the one tree? No. So even if you go into the tree section, you will not find another one because the beehives are just like an animal pen. It's one per farm, or at least at the moment. Now, I do wish in the future that they will give us another one. Now, just like any of the normal bushes as well, you can move the nectar bushes around and place them in any way you like. And towards the end of this video, you're going to see lots and lots of images and designs from different people's farms. So do enjoy looking at those and do enjoy some of the creativity that's actually gone on out there in the world at the moment. Right, now I'm just looking at the shop here for the trees. As I said, you can't get any more trees there. Now, the bees will not all go to one bush at one time. If you only have the one bush, that's the only bush they will go to. But once you start adding more bushes to your farm, then the bees will pick and choose which one they want to go to. And which one they're going to go to first, I do not know. It could be one that's close to your tree. It could be one that is distant from your tree. But the time that they're taking is basically the same amount of time. They will either spend longer in the bush or they will spend a shorter time in the bush depending on the distance from the bush from the actual tree that they're flying to. 
Now, just like any machine, the tree has a mastery. And if you get the one star, you get two hives, two stars, three hives, and three stars, which is what I'm going to be aiming for in this video, is four hives. And to get the first one, you're going to need 4,000 nectars. Oh my goodness, is that a lot. Now, compared to the full total, 4,000 is nothing. And you will see in a little while when we jump to the next stars. Oh my goodness, is it a lot of nectar you need to collect. But it's good fun getting there in the end. Now, I do love watching these bees, and I can quite happily just sit here for hours and hours and hours. Sometimes I even tap on them, and they kind of expand and become all fat. I like the way that they're actually pulling faces and looking at you sometimes. And their cute little smile is interesting as well. Now, basically, you're collecting 100 nectar for each hive. Now, let's just say that you've collected 99 nectars. Are all three bees then going to go to one of the bushes? No. Two of the bees will actually wait in the hive, while the third bee actually flies down, collects that nectar, then comes back and completes the 100. Then the bees will stay there until you actually go in and collect the honeycomb. Once you've collected the honeycomb, like I've just done there, then they will fly away again and start collecting. Now, one thing I was happy about, earlier on in the game, there was one thing that everybody was not too happy about, and that was what would happen here when the bush died. Now, when the bush died, we had this horrible brown dead image. Now, imagine a whole farm with lots of these dead bushes just sitting there. Oh my god, did it look ugly. Now, Supercell did listen to what we were all saying, and they did update it, and I'm going to show you what the new bush looks like in a second, in comparison to this. Now, just like uh, any bush as well, when you want it to be revived, you just send out a request, and Lonair, in this case, was the first person to ever come to my farm and revive a nectar bush. And you have gone down in history, not once, but twice now, so sweet. And this is the second 250 for that bush. Once that 250 is done, as I said, that bush will be dead completely. Then I need to use the axes to chop it down. Now, you will require a lot of axes as you're working through this task. You've got a lot of nectar to collect. That means a lot of bushes. So I would strongly suggest saving your axes and basically using Tom to collect more axes. Now, this is what the new bushes look like, and they are so much better. I love the white imagery here. We've got a nice, beautiful snow effect here from the winter scene that was previous at level 82 for me. And this is the new bush. Doesn't it look much better? Now, just imagine these bushes being used in different designs as well. Fantastic! And you will see some images using the white ones later as well. I just so loved what they did. And I'm really glad that the company did listen to their audience and did actually change it from that horrible dead brown image to this lively white image. And when you get this wintry effect like you've got here at the moment, it looks pretty sweet. And I do like that a lot. In fact, even when it's a summer or autumn effect, it does look good. And I'm quite happy with this change. Now, notice here that all my bushes are dead or waiting to be revived, and my bees are not moving. Now, as soon as I accept and say thank you to my friend here for reviving, the bees will then fly down to those bushes. So, if your bees are sitting there and your bushes have expired, they will not move until the bushes are revived or new bushes are laid down. So do keep an eye on your bushes and make sure you do revive them when you get the chance. Or make sure you've got sufficient amount of bushes that you can actually balance against the number of bees and hives you've got. Now in this case you can see three hives. And in a second I'm going to go through all of the different stars so you can see what the trees look like and see how many nectars you're going to need for the tree to upgrade itself so it looks like this. 
Now, when it comes to upgrading, the tree size will change, and so will the number of hives. Now, as I said, there's a one star, two hives, there's a two star, three hives, and a three star, four hives. Now, 4,000 was for the first one, and basically, I'm now going to get that one star. Oh, yes, yeah. so now I've got two beehives. Excellent. So, my tree has upgraded, and there it is, and doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, my goodness! Goodness, 40,000 nectars? That's going to take me forever to do that. In fact, no, it didn't. But we will see later when we go through the video. It didn't take as long as the last one, which was much, much greater. Now the hive is closed up, and just like with the first hive, you need to add the bees. Now if you're adding the bee and you try to put it into the first or the existing hive, it won't let you. You can only add new bees to the new hive, and this time they will cost you 2,000 gold coins, and you can have up to six. Now do you need to add all six bees? No, you don't. If you want to, you can only add the one bee. That's okay, it's your choice, but it will take much longer. Now if you're going the slow route, then great, go for it. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. But I do like the design. I like the way that this actually has now grown, and the fact that you've got two hives there, and it's really nicely balanced. Just look at the base of the tree, where it's changed in design as well. You've got two little pots, you've got your smoker there as well, and it's really well done, and I think it fits quite nicely. Now, just to the left-hand side there as well, you can see the machine with a honey pot in front of it. Now, I'm going to go over that machine with all of the other machines a little bit later in the video, so don't worry, I will come back to that and to tell you everything about it. Now, did you notice that bee went all fat there? That's what I mean by tapping the bees. If you do tap the bees, they blow up, and they kind of become all fat and funny, and it's quite interesting to watch. Also watch the bees as well, because their actions are very different. Look at the way they stick their tongues out at you. Look at the way they just give you a little cheeky grin sometimes. It's quite funny. Now, if you are moving the bushes around, and there are bees on the bush, don't worry. When you're moving the bushes around, the bees will follow later once you let the bush go. However, you can get some quite interesting designs, especially when it looks like the bees are actually digging up nectar from the ground, or from a building, or somewhere else, because you've actually shifted the object that they were sitting on. So, do try it. It's quite funny to look at as well. Right, now we're increasing the amount of nectars that we're catching here, or shall I say collecting, and basically my tree is getting ready for its next star. And when I get this next star, I can then add another hive to it. But how many nectar bushes will I require to upgrade to the one after that? It's going to be interesting to find out. So, that tree with the two hives will allow me to collect 200 nectars at a time. Now, I've just upgraded, and I need 40,000 nectars. Oh, wow. 40,000 nectars for that next star. That's a lot, and that's going to take me ages. But I've already done it, so this is the second star, and I'm so happy. Look, 39459, so 39,459, I'm almost there, and that really does go quickly. In fact, it's so fast sometimes that it's almost like clicking your fingers, and then basically you're upgrading. And it's actually quite cool to watch. When I actually do the fourth one later, I will show you. Oh, sorry, the third star later, the fourth hive, I will show you. Now, 400,000 nectars. <gasps> I'm so glad I'm sitting down at the moment. Now you know why it took me till level 91 to get to this stage. And in fact, here we are at level 91. I've just jumped ahead. Now, this is the design I'm currently using at the moment. I have all of my nectar bushes in a nice straight diagonal line. I've got my tree just off to the side, so they're very, very close. That's 300 nectars in total per tree. And I've got 399,139 there. 
Will it take me a long time? No. With the three hives, it adds up very, very quickly. And very, very soon, I will get that third star and the fourth hive. And I'm so looking forward to this. Because it means a lot of things are going to happen in the game that I'm really excited about. It's so sweet. And in fact, I'm going to jump ahead now and do the countdown. So, let's see how many I need now. Zooming in. Let's have a look. Three hives. Thirty-nine. Sorry, three hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred fifty-five. Oh my goodness! I'm getting so close. It's fantastic. So let's do it. Three stars. Sweet. So I need nine more, and my bees are there. Come on, little bees, fly on over. Let's see what happens. Here they come. So who's going to be first? And there goes number one. There's number two and number three. Number four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, number nine. Sweet three stars. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Red Knight. You now have four beehives in your beehive tree. Buy new honeybees from the shop. So just like with every other upgrade, I need to add more bees. So that means 12 bees in total. Awesome! And I'm so happy. And doesn't that tree look beautiful? I really, really do love this design. Of all of the trees, I must admit, this is my favourite one at the moment anyway. Now, maybe there will be some other trees in the future that would look as good, but I do like this a lot. Now, what happens when you do do some things within the game? You get achievements, and the honey and the bees have their own achievements as well. So, let's just have a look at what achievements I can get here. So, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Ah, there we have it. So, you've got... Uh, go back, 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 back up. Too far. Keep going. Back, 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 back. Up, 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 up. Keep going. Oh, okay. So, harvest 4,500 honeycombs. Get 10 diamonds, and I'm 3,000. 1137. Ooh, I'm getting very close. All of us three have 12 bees, and again, that's 10 diamonds. You need 12 bees, and that's 3,000 experience points. And I know I'm going to get that very, very soon. So, 10 diamonds in the bag. Awesome! Isn't that wonderful? So, let's jump ahead and show you what that looks like when you get it. So, there's my fully mastered tree. The beehive is closed up. So let's go to the shop. But how much are the bees this time, I wonder? Are they cheap or expensive? And this time they're going to cost me 3,000 gold coins each. That's not expensive at all. I've got plenty of money. So that's two, one more. And here we go. Achievement done. Yeah, all of us three completed. Woohoo! I'm so happy. That's going to be 10 diamonds added to my total. All that experience points as well. And there we are. 12 bees collected. 3,000 experience points. 10 diamonds. That's 121 of 126 done. Oh, yeah. Aren't I awesome? Now that's going to be my next one to go for. So, 4,500 honeycombs. And I'm almost there. Now, what are the honey products within the game, I wonder? Well, let's show you. Now, this is the honeycomb that I keep mentioning. And doesn't it look beautiful? Now, with the honeycomb, we can make honey. And I do so love the look of this image. Now, with the honey, what can you make? You can make this beautiful cake. And I so want to eat that cake now. You can make this nice little lobster skewer as well. And doesn't it look beautiful? How about popcorn? So honey-flavoured popcorn. Excellent. How about pumpkin soup made with honey as well? Doesn't that sound wonderful as well? Or my favourite, nice bit of toast with honey on top. 
Excellent. But what else can you do with the uh, nectar? You can actually make beeswax. And beeswax means you can make candles. And there are three kinds of candles. This is number one, and doesn't it look beautiful? This one is number two, and that's fantastic as well. And this one here is number three. So they are all of the products that you can make with the nectar and the honeycombs. So nectar makes the honeycombs, and the honeycombs make the honey and the beeswax. And then with those two products, you can make a lot of other things. Right, let's have a look at the machines that actually make these items. Now, the first one that's the most important one is the honey extractor. So when you get this machine, it's going to cost you 35,000 gold coins, and you do need it if you wish to make any products. 24 hours to make it, or 47 diamonds there if you want to do it. Now, at the time of making this video, I only had 41 diamonds, so I needed to wait. Now, in fact, let's jump ahead to 22 hours and 26 minutes. I have the diamond, so let's speed it up and see what it looked like. Oh, yeah, 24 experience points. And look at all those beautiful butterflies. Come back, little butterflies. Don't fly away. You know you want to stay on my farm because it's so cool. And doesn't that machine look wonderful? Look at the design. Look at the detail there. I could stand next to that and really enjoy the feel of it. It looks really cool. Now, like any other machine, when you first get it, it has some open slots. Again, it has its own mastering, 10%, 5%, and 15%. And basically, my main goal is going to be aiming for the 15%. Because the faster I get there, it means everything is speeded up and produced a lot faster. And for me, that's important. Now, do you need to open up all of those slots? Now, personally, I don't think so. At least not at a lower level for the trees. Now that I've got four hives, I might actually start adding more slots to this machine than what I've currently got at the moment, because I will be producing more honeycombs. Now, I do like this machine when it's actually squeezing that honey out from the honeycombs. Doesn't it look beautiful? Now, I'm jumping ahead here, and I've got my third star. So it means everything is now produced much faster. And I just love the fact that it's produced much faster. And look at that cute star just sitting on the top there. And in fact, there's a new machine that I was just touching there as well. So it means that the machine has been upgraded, and it's now able to produce bees wax as well just like that image you can see there and the one that I showed you earlier in the products now in a second I'm going to show you all of the machines and then you will see exactly what's required to make all of those products but let's just enjoy the honey extractor oh yeah look at it doesn't it look beautiful three stars Fantastic. Okay, right, I've moved the honey extractor out into the open, basically because my farm's been redesigned. There is the honey that I'm collecting there, and again, lots of experience points, and they're all going. That's the amount of slots I have opened at the moment. So, even though I now have four hives, I only have the five slots there. It's your choice if you wish to add more, but I think that's enough with what I'm able to produce and cope with in the game at the moment. Now, when it comes to actually producing a product, you need to balance what you need. At the end of the day, I think you're going to need to produce a lot more honey than the beeswax. However, if you do have the town, the town will require a, a lot of candles, B, a lot of beeswax, and C, a lot of honey pots. So do make sure you have ample in stock if you have the town, because it is really resource heavy. When it comes to the boats, again, you have a choice whether you fill those boat crates or just send them off. And that's the same with the truck orders. Right, now let's look at the machines. This is the candle maker, and it produces three of those beautiful candles. There's the strawberry candle there. There's the raspberry candle, and then there's the lemon candle, and I so want to eat all of them. It's strange. I actually feel like eating the candles. It's really weird. But then again, I do like the sound of these candles. I could imagine them sitting in my house 
lit and smelling the room out with those beautiful fragrances and I do love the design of this machine as well okay this is the next machine I'm going to be looking at here let's just collect these products and move them out the way again this one's fully mastered as a star and this is the soup kitchen so this is where you are going to make the pumpkin soup and as you can see you need honey for that one butter carrots and pumpkin yummy 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 I so want to eat some of that as well but in fact I can't I have had my dinner already and my beautiful wife made me yaki nickel tonight so I'm really happy right the popcorn I want to eat popcorn as well so this is the popcorn pot and we have honey flavored popcorn there oh yes now I do find in the game I don't need to produce a lot of those in fact quite often with most of the honey based products you don't need to keep as much in stock as you would do with say some of the other items again you need to pick and choose if you are going to do them or not personally I tend to send off a lot of boats if they're asking for too many popcorns because I like to use the popcorns elsewhere within the game in fact most of my honey products I tend to use in the town itself because I think that's a better return for me oh I'm out of corn it's a good job I have some growing but then again no I will not use a diamond that is so not worth it and for mistakes please make sure that you have enabled your diamond confirmation butter button in settings or you will lose lots of diamonds with these machines sometimes so do be careful right the next machine we're going to look at some cakes and I love the cakes as well specifically this cake that I'm about to show you I wish I could eat this every week look at it isn't it fantastic honey apple cake oh my god doesn't that look beautiful ah yummy 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 I'm so tempted to eat my computer screen just to taste it right the next machine here yay we're going to have a look at some lobsters so honey lobster skewers very very nice now this is the lobster skewer you will need lobster tails you will need some honey and peppers for that one as well but again I don't produce so many of those or that often now this is my favorite machine as someone who is British I love sandwiches and I often make my own sandwiches but I also enjoy toast as well specifically things like cheese on toast now this one is a nice combination this one is honey toast and I do so love the sound of that honey toast doesn't that sound so delicious I wonder if I could have that for breakfast tomorrow now the bees okay say hello to the bees everybody they look so happy they are my favorite animals within the game as well I think now every single image you're going to see now is using the nectar bushes now this one is a nice combination here you can see they've got three hives on their tree they kept their tree very close to the bushes they're using some dead ones and some live ones there, mixed in with the land and I do so love that design this was the original where we had the dead nectar bushes now not so beautiful looking as you can see but you could still could have created some nice designs and quite a lot of people did but as we all heard there were a lot more issues with people complaining now this is one of the reasons why super so updated now good thing about this update you can again be very creative look at those hearts the previous one was a nice border pattern I love some of the imagery that people are doing with these dead bushes look at that Christmas tree doesn't it look fantastic now you've got a nice combination here of live ones and dead ones that's pretty good as well look at the border of this one and look at the quantity of nectar bushes as well and speaking of quantity oh my god those bees have so many choices to choose from I like the way this one is nicely balanced as well mixed in with the machines just off to the edge here and a perfect little message that's a high heyday doesn't that look good as well
Very standard pattern there. Okay, you've got your machine and the tree and the bushes together. Nice little one spread out there as well. Okay, right, I'm coming to the end of this video. This is the updated version. I hope you liked it a lot. You've now seen everything. I've shown you some nice images. I've rearranged things a little bit better to make it a little bit more easier to understand. So, see you all next time, and have a happy heyday, and enjoy your bee time.